Hey everyone! Has anyone else noticed that Facebook and Instagram are becoming more and more censored, both in speech and content creation? Or that they're very selective in who they're targeting? I barely have a following, so it doesn't make sense to me why they would be freezing my accounts, besides my having previously been an administrator for a few Girls With Guns groups supporting the Second Amendment. Facebook claims it was for breaking community guidelines, but I have only ever posted implied nudes, not actual nudity, on my Shannon profiles. Um, I see bare bottoms all over Facebook and Instagram, so maybe someone is reporting my accounts. But not only is Facebook freezing my alias accounts, it's banning me from using my personal accounts as well, despite the fact that those accounts are completely separate and have never gotten a warning for any type of violation. So I've created profiles on both MeWe and Parler to experiment which has less censorship. MeWe allows for self-promotion of both my OnlyFans and Patreon pages, while Parler only allows the mention of Patreon and not OnlyFans. According to Wikipedia, <laughs> um, Parler has a significant user base of Trump supporters, conservatives, and right-wing extremists. Um, posts on the service often contain far-right content, anti-Semitism, and conspiracy theories. <laughs> well, I have yet to experience that. Um, also, according to Wikipedia, thankfully not a real sorry, thankfully not a real news source. Um, MeWe is also popular among conservatives because it too focuses on extreme views like anti-vaccine rhetoric, white supremacy, and again, conspiracy theories. Yet, I have not experienced this at all on this platform. All I know is that Facebook and Twitter are apparently being sued for censorship. I'm not much of a Twitter person. I have an account, but... It's honestly only to advertise my Patreon and OnlyFans pages to, like, my 30 followers. So, <clears throat> um, I'm someone who likes to speak their mind and not be censored. In the era of online communication, I believe that censorship can be dangerous. I understand that the First Amendment does not cover certain speech, and I'm fine with that. But if the words are within the confines of the law, then why not allow them? There have been court cases about this. They say that the proper solution is more speech in order to progress and let people decide for themselves, not less speech by censorship. I don't quite understand why people could not even be free in a virtual world. Is it because they take it too seriously? Do they think it's real? What happened to common sense? Uh, I don't want to handicap society because it doesn't know how to function properly. I have no problem with an ignorant person as long as they're willing to learn. After all, that's what ignorance means, simply not knowing something. I'm not going to fault someone for not knowing something because they were never taught it. However, I will point the finger at someone who has had the opportunity to learn, but who refuses and chooses to remain ignorant of an important fact. I'm not saying we all have to agree. There are many facts that I don't agree with, but it won't change the fact that they're facts. So maybe I am on the right platforms now because I'm about to bring up my own conspiracy theory. Um, today, kids are not being taught cursive. Does anyone have a good reason for why schools stopped teaching cursive? I remember learning cursive. And I would have been screwed if I didn't because that's all my parents wrote in. I even learned calligraphy in Catholic school, so cursive. Why won't they teach children how to read or write in cursive anymore? Is the government doubting the intellectual capacity of modern students? Is it their way of saying we think you're too dumb to learn this? What changed over the past two decades? Another question. What is the Constitution of the United States written in? What about every other important historical and political document that this country was founded on, written in? Cursive. If you make it so that the populace cannot read the Bill of Rights, 
and therefore not know what rights they do and don't have. They're easier to manipulate as a mess. Just a thought. So, yeah, everyone, please join me on Me We Are Parlor. I also started a new Instagram and a new Facebook, but the new Facebook profile somehow synced to my old one and locked me out for an undetermined amount of time without even telling me that the damn account was restricted. So I can only post from my Lexi account right now. But my new Instagram seems to be working, so that's good. Um, I'll drop the links in the comments or description below along with my Patreon and OnlyFans link if YouTube allows me to. Um, YouTube took down my last video clip that was just a promotional uh, pictures that didn't show any naughty bits at all, so the only thing I could think of was that it didn't like the links written into the clip itself. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I just hope that this whole video doesn't get taken down. Um, well, that's all for now, so please remember to click the subscribe button on the bottom of this channel and follow me. Thank you.